Hare Krishna. So yesterday after my uh, post on chemical, the best chemical engineer in the world, right? Uh, someone asked me this point that uh, chemical engineering and nature is fine, but not sure how God figured in the equation. So uh, here's a quick, uh, you know, uh, thought on that, that uh, actually uh, if there is a wonderful creation, which we call nature, then we must accept that there is a creator. Uh, if we see that nature operates according to certain laws, then we must accept that uh, there is a lawmaker. Uh, if we see nature follows certain very specific processes in the way it goes about designing and maintaining things, uh, then there must be somebody who, uh, you know, designed that process, who defined that process. That person is God. So we simply cannot accept that, uh, you know, uh, a nature with all its wondrous complexity and uh, creativity and laws and processes uh, and say that it all happened just by chance, by natural selection, right? Uh, it is almost akin to saying that uh, uh, a 1.24 million barrels per day uh, refinery of Reliance in Jamnagar just came about by chance uh, and, uh, you know, uh, which completely denies the existence of the chemical engineer who conceptualized it, designed it and executed what to speak of running it. So we simply cannot, uh, you know, uh, run away from the fact that uh, even this nature that we see around us is designed by a superior intelligence. And that superior intelligence is the intelligence of God.